वेलकम बैक टू कोड टू नाइट इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट स्ट्राइप पेमेंट गेट वे इन यू आर एस पी डॉट नेट एप्लीकेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी हाउ इट विल वर्क सो आई विल रन द एप्लीकेशन फर्स्ट एंड देन आई विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ इट इज वर्किंग सो स्ट्राइप हैज चेंज देयर ए पी आई रिसेंटली एंड सम ऑफ देयर ओल्ड ए पी आईज वर्क नाव डेज इन इंडिया but uh, for outside india those were api is work but this api which we will see today is gonna work for india and even for other countries also so here we have one simple text box here for the amount and then we have a check out button here so we will enter 50 here and we will click on check out so it will take us to a stripe checkout screen here and before making any payment i will first open up stripe dashboard so here we have stripe dashboard this is the account uh, from which you have used uh, stripe publication publishable key and stripe secret key so this is the dummy account that i have created and i will show you how many orders are here so we will see if orders are getting saved or not so here we have three successful order till now and we will try to make one more order so this is this 50 amount is the one that we have entered and this is the account name for tonight and here you will have to add your email and then you have to add card details now this is the dummy card from stripe so it is 424242 all the way and the expiry date should be for for future so it is 0125 and cvc will be 123 you can put any name here and then we will click on pay now it will process the payment and after that it requests on a success method uh, currently we have just uh, added a simple text here that the payment is success so this is how it work now we will go to stripe dashboard and we will refresh the page so here you can see 50 payment is successfully here so this is a demo of how this stripe is working so we will see how to do that so first of all you have to take a asp.net web application and uh, you can even download the sample code from you have to type cotonite.com and this is our official website and here you will see a blog implement stripe payment gateway in the sp.net code and from there you will find the link to download attachment so if you download the attachment from here you will get all the working code so you can use that one so now we will see what is written inside that code so this is basically a asp.net web application and after that what you have to do is you have to go to project and manage i will i will stop the application first so first of all you have to go to project and you have to go on manage nugget packages here you have to find out stripe.net so this is a stripe package and uh, we are using the latest version for now 39.120.0 uh, you will find the install button here so you have to install that in your project after the installation is done what you have to do is you have to go to solution explorer and open up your global ajax file now in the global ajax file you have to click on global.ajax.cs here what you have to do is you have to add stripe configuration dot set api key and then secret key now this secret key i am getting from the app settings and we will see the app settings so i will go to web config here i have added two working keys in the project so you can use those however you will not be able to 
check the dashboard but you can create your own account and you will get this fees from there so if you create your account then you have to go to developers here you can click on that and here we must find our keys so let me check once so here is api keys here you have to click on that and this is the public publishable key and you have to click on this button to get the secret key so these are the two keys that we have used so we will place that inside the web config here and we will use the publishable we will use the secret key here in stripe completion dot set api key now you have to add using stripe here for that purpose now after you have done this part you have to actually go to your view so we will add one view so you can use existing view also so here we are using existing view so here i have added one text box here and one checkout button and on the form method we have added action equal to home create checkout session now this is the action that we have created here in the home controller so this is the action again if you want to get the code you can download from the website here and even if you go down uh, you will be able to find the code here so you can copy the things from here also now we will see what it is doing so it is it is here adding the amount that we have passed from job as parameter now it is creating a product you can pass any name here here you can pass the currency here you have to keep mode equal to payment now this success url means that where it will go after your payment is successful now cancel url is again if some, somehow your payment fails then it will go there now this local host is basically the host of the um, project so my project is running on this host for 4346 so this is the url you can change that url now this is creating a session for stripe and then it will redirect on the stripe payment checkout uh, page which we have seen okay so from there what will happen is you will complete the payment and it will return back to success view here you can possibly get the parameters from there or you can create some web hooks and if the payment fails then it will get get on the cancel method you can check out the parameters that you get there so this is a simple code for how to make stripe payment using the latest version of stripe so if you have any issues about the code or if you have any confusion then you can comment on the article or even in the video i will attach the blog link from uh, with the video description so you can get the code from here and make it work so thanks for watching guys and if you like the video and if the video works for you then you can click on buy me pizza option here and you can let us know if you face any issue thanks for watching guys take care